Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. So I know we have a quest by City Hall. Oh, I have my gun picked. I'm like, what is that? Take it you got our letter. My, that Burgess. That child went around to everyone in town to check up on their wellness. He has such a big heart. The results he came back with, I must say, were rather shocking. 80% of those who took the survey reported that they were at least suffering some form of anxiety. Some from the Gieglers, some from the state of things. So I got together with our resident expert in fun, Katori here, and, well, Katori, why don't you tell our fine builder friend here what we came up with? It's my pleasure, Minister. I must thank you again for getting the church to support this project. See now, way I see it, the only cure to these psychological drudgery type have you do, how do you do's, is one word, entertainment. Seeing as Gecko Station has recently become unoccupied, we now have the opportunity to turn a negative into a positive. I present to you sand sledding, but we won't call it that. No, too simple. We'll call it sand running. Sounds sleek and sophisticated, something the youth can identify with. Our tourism profits will quintuple overnight, and the mental health crisis, I assume, will also be resolved. This is where you come in, Builder. We need you to help us build up some of the things involved in creating such an attraction. I've already explained our needs to Mian. She'll be making the sand sleds. I need you to help us make the sign-in table. Here is the diagram. I drew it up myself. When you're done, please install north of the old Giegler building. How lovely! I love it when a plan comes together. Looking forward to seeing what the two of you come up with. Okay, so we are expanding that part of the desert. Marble, brick, blonde, blonde bronze, plate. See, I'm playing a demo where I had to use space instead of E, and now I lost my E habit. Another quest over here. Arvio. Hey, how's the workshop these days? Uh huh. <laughs> Great. Say, have you noticed that a lot more tourists have been around lately? And yet, hardly any of them stopping to buy the stairs. Hard to believe, I know. What could I possibly do to remedy such a situation? Ah, uh, I know. How about a big billboard right there on the train platform? That way, the second they step off the train... Yes, they'll see it straight away. They'll think, wow, by the stairs. Such a nondescript shop name means they don't care about being popular. They must have great stuff. Hmm? Still have doubts? Well, this idea of mine has only been existent for 30 seconds or so. I still have some details to hire out. Given time, well... The sky's the limit, I suppose. You have a keen eye. What image would you put on the billboard? What's something that would really grab everyone's attention? Um, attention. So it's kind of funny, but in my day job, I actually do marketing and graphic design for a living. Um, people faces would be the most attention grabbing. Yes. Um, a map to the store wouldn't really grab anyone's attention. People don't read or anything. Uh, some quality goods might be nice. Um, all right, let's just do. Why, that's a brilliant idea! Why didn't I think of that? Nothing grabs attention in an ad like a friendly face. Say, we make a pretty good team, wouldn't you say? 
I will also sell honey to Bumble ads, I bet. I will also say he's designed to be a pretty good looking character, which is what you kinda want. Yes. Our discussion has been rather enlightening, I must say. Tonight I should have time to chop a design for a billboard. Once it's done, can I trouble you to build it for me? Wonderful. I'll get the design to you as soon as possible. Make sure you remember to check your mailbox. Thanks again for your insightful advice. All right. Oh, that's right. Tomorrow is the running of the yak mills. Right, let's see if we have any of this stuff. Oh, look at our tree is coming in. Oh, that looks nice. <laughs> oh, my meow statue. It's the best. Okay, that's as much as it'll do. Oh, it's still going. What did we need for this? Copper wire. Okay, we're waiting for the rest of our copper wire. And... Okay, so nothing here. Oh, I think someone said we can queue up more than one project now. We do need these. Queue full. Okay, working queue is one out of one here. Oh, I don't think I upgraded that one yet. Yeah, so this one has two queues. I need four. I'll just do the four. And then our rubber shells. We already have 12 of. We'll just do a couple anyway. He's ready for harvest? Okay, so we got that. Mountain Rose. Did I not plant Mountain Rose? Okay, so the sand rice. Someone said it would... Mission updated. It would update if we got it into our inventory. And they're correct. Okay, so I gotta make sure I have the... Mountain Rose planted. I'll put that back in there. Sort all. We did get a bunch of new relics. Ooh, luck plus eight. I'll put that in my house. It's huge. Cool. Um, it's still early, but we're waiting. Let's just go to bed. Okay, so it is running of the yak mills today. Twelve to eight. Ten o'clock, it looks like when it starts. Okay, we have a 2Q here as well. We are running low on materials to recycle. Cool.
tomato, sand rice. Okay, I don't have any mountain rose growing. I need to get some of those. That's wheat right there. Okay, and this is billboard design. Pablo will charge you when you pick it up. Don't worry, I'll pay you back ASAP. Wait, so I had Pablo come up with the design instead. Can you pick up his diagram? Okay, so I have to go visit Pablo. All right, let's get this done and out of here. This is for Yan and it's worth quite a bit. All right, let's get this table up here. I do have the intermediate assembly table. Oh, assembly table. Or assembly station, so this thing. Okay. Um, crap, I gotta figure out how to get one of those. Maybe, um... Maybe Chi might know. We still have a little bit of time. Well met. Um, intermediate. No. Okay. So long. Uh, maybe Heidi's place has it. Right, looks like the event's gonna start soon. Where is Yan? Not in here. Wait, is that him? Yes, come here. Hey there! Take it. Yes, thing she wants a bronze axe. I don't currently have one. I mean, I do, but not one I can give up. Hello. Raised meat. Sure. Uh, where's the sign up? Uh, what do we even do for Run of the Yakmels? I'm only here for Owen's speech. I've never get tired of hearing the weird story of running the Yakmels. Start the speech. Oh, I think it's... It was at 11? I'm looking for balloons that might be carrying stuff. These balloons look like they're just attached to buildings. Here we go. 
Welcome, one and all, to the world-famous Sandrock's own running of the Yakmals. A shout out to City Hall for inviting me here today. Uh, now, I'll bet some of you are wondering, why the heck do we all get together every year to try to bump Yakmals into each other anyhow? I'm sorry, we do what? <clears throat> it is with great esteem that I shall now honor an age-old tradition and regale y'all with the tale that started it all, the Shonash Clash. Many years ago, the great-grandparents of our very own ranch couple, Cooper and Mabel, were traveling yakback through the Eufaula, delivering various supplies up and down to the earliest settlers, long before the railways were ever built. Back then, the only road was through a narrow part of the North Shonash Canyon, and one day, these two yak boys were passing through from both ends at the same time. They ran into each other halfway through, their carts in tow, each blocking the other's path. One called out, you back out so I can get through. And the other replied, no, you back out so I can get through. Nice, nice voice acting. I'm more than halfway through the pass, you back out. No, you ain't. That's one third and a quarter at best. You back out. This back and forth went on for hours, and pretty soon other travelers showed up and were understandably peeved at the situation. Funny thing about it all is this narrowest part of the past was no more than 30 meters long. They could have all been out there in a couple of minutes. But no, both of those fellas were too stubborn to back down. Soon enough, push came to shove, <laughs> literally. Other folks on Yakback started bumping into our two antagonists, front and back, till it was just bumper Yak Bedlam. In the craziness of it all, carts were knocked over, packs were cut open, food and other supplies were getting tossed all out on the ground. He's laughing about this. Before too long, everyone came to their senses. One person started to laugh, then another. And pretty soon, they were all tumbling off their mounts, howling over the absurdity of it all. I mean, okay. Here, I'm afraid, is where it gets dark. When they all looked around, they noticed that the two fellas who started this whole debacle were both dead as doornails. Both of them with their hands wrung out around each other's neck. Seriously? In all the chaos, it seemed those two boys really never had let their bad blood quit boiling. The rest of them, folks, they all picked up their supplies. It had gotten late. They camped out there at the pass and cooked up all the food that had fallen off the mule yaks and carts and such, conversing all about what had happened. Word spread and, well, <laughs> here we are, all these years later, still commemorating the event. So all y'all, I invite you to partake in the festivities Hop on a yak mill, bump into your best friend, and uh, <laughs> try not to take it too personal if you get bumped yourself. So we're doing bumper cars? With all that being said, I hereby declare the Sand Rock Annual Running of the Yak Mill Festival begun! Okay, but do I get anything? Is there a point to doing this? Um... Uh, I mean, I don't know, man. Of course, we gotta respect our ancestors. But I don't think you should be proud of your grandpappy and your wife's grandpappy mutually ending one another over a traffic incident. A second, Hugo. Hogwash. My grandpappy is a stark example of what true gumption looks like. In the face of adversity, he never gave up a true rancher to the end. My is pop, right? Was Pa's great-grandpappy justified in the killing of yours at the expense of his own life? Like heck he was! Cooper, I'm sick of sounding like a broken record every time this year festival rolls around. Disavow the sins of your ancestors right now, else I ain't cooking supper. Uh, well, sweetie pie, darling, dumpling, I suppose. From a certain perspective, one might make that argument. Don't you try to middle ground me! Disavow! But... But... No buts! Alright, alright. Killing and dying over traffic altercation was... 
Objectively, imbecilic. That's better. Wow, I think my worldview just got a little better. Y'all are something else. Oh, here we go. Are you sure you want to join in the running of the Mac? No. Yep. Okay. Post number one. Let's see what this is about. Please find your Yakmo as soon as possible. Ooh, can I? That's a stuffed. That's a stuffed animal, isn't it? I hope I can have one. Yakmel is at post one. There's two. Three. Okay, so post one is literally right here in the front. Where the blue arrow is. Post one, post one. Oh, we're going into this ring. I can't go in yet. Okay, so it is like bumper cars. Okay. Space to jump. Left to sprint. Right to cancel? Hey! Why can't I go in? What? There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, I need a... I need a token or something? Oh, I do. Collection time. Sweet and sour pork. Oh, you jerk. Okay, so I need to collect stuff. Did I hit somebody? I think I just got eight points. Sorry, Justice. Nope, didn't even do it. I'm not doing great. This isn't really enjoyable. Oh, come on, Miguel. There's stuff floating above the stadium. Please go back and wait for the next round. I'm in one. I'm in sixth place. Well, you know, I'm not too far behind everybody else. So I get points for collecting. Maybe that's what it is. There we go. Oh, okay. Nope. Oh, I got somebody. Yeah. Payback, Miguel. Oh, no. Not you, Cooper. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Death to you. I missed him. To collect the ingredients for farmers stew, is that what that is? Sorry, man. Oh, no. She moved. It is tough. Your Yakima gets into like a one track mind. Get out of here, Arvio. Oh, Arvio gets it. Take it. You need to hit somebody. Oh, sorry, man. But hey. 
I'm in the lead. I'll take it. Don't you do it, just Oh. So I'm still in first. At the end? Please be the end. I can jump. Ride, get off. Oh, Pablo, I need that uh, thing from you. Can I talk to you? Oh, I see. We need to go back this way. Actually get out of the event. Just want a stuffed Yakmo. That would be cute. Oh, no. I really don't want to do it again. My hands already ache just from that round. Do I get anything? Popping oil fruit. Sand rice. Chestnuts. Oh, no stuffed yak mail. Ah. You must be here to pick up the completed version of Avio's very modest and not at all narcissistic design for a billboard. <laughs> My fee is 500 gold. Yep. Huh. Just like that. No haggling. No offers of exposure. Uh, art major here. Never. Ooh, that Avio has really done a number on you, hasn't he? You just be careful, you know. He's not exactly known for paying his debts in a timely manner. But that's not really my problem now, is it? Nope. Thank you. And make sure you color inside the lines. Alright, you know what? We've got... We gotta figure out how to get that next table. Please still be open. If I can't figure it out by the end of this episode, I am going to look it up. Oh, work table. Assembly station, level one, upgrade. Bronze plates. Will cost 1500. All right, so I just need some more bronze plates. We're good on everything else.
Machine, I still don't have a machine upgrade kit from Hammer Time. Okay, from Hugo, I believe. Oh, I just got my bronze plates. I'm gonna need more, I think. I'm just gonna do that. Five. All right, let's see if I can get this now. That way I can get the uh, table up on the table. Kiosk, I think it's called a kiosk. Banjo! Okay, so it was here, assembly station, upgrade. Oh, I need more. Ten. I wasn't paying attention. Alright, alright. I guess we'll do that in the morning. Well, I'm glad I put on more bronze plates, but I think I'm gonna put on some more because we need ten plus we need an additional four or more. For our project. Although I think by the sounds of it, I almost have the 10k I need for the... Yeah. The next yard expansion. There we go, that should keep us in for a little bit. My jewelry maker, or jewelry processing. Workshop ranking, ooh, eight. I'm in second. We're gonna get Sandro seeds while we're out today, too. Another quest here? Well, it looks like I have almost everything I need for the kiosk. Just need a few more marble brick. Owen! My dude, what's up? Howdy. Part time work. I checked our stock of fish recently, but seems we're running a little low. You mind catching a few for me? Sure. Six sand carp. Hey, see you around. When is that due? 18 hours? Oh, I gotta do it today. 
make the billboard. I gotta do that too, and that has four days. Okay. Wait, is it the first day of winter? Calendar? It is! There's no, uh... No more holidays. None this month, except my birthday. Okay. We got it this time. Oh, here we go. It scared me for a second. Um, I would like to move it over, but not right now. Cool. Alright, let's go see what... <sighs> RVO's billboard needs. I did not get the seeds I needed. Alright, RVO's built board. Do I just make it here? I do. Okay. Alright, so put the kiosk up on here. Bronze plates are still going. Marble bricks are still going. Oop. Oop. Bronze pipes. Marble brick and plates. That's all we're looking for. Alright. RVO's billboard now. Install the billboard. Looking a little pixelated. <laughs> it's perfect! Look at the majesty! I can't bear to draw my eyes away. I look so friendly and welcoming. You're all set. Amazing. My design, your handiwork, and Pablo's finishing touches. It's absolutely perfect. People are going to start calling my shop by the stairs. You know, with all the attention I'll be getting. Like, everybody will be looking. Or staring? Ah, by the way, how much was Pablo's fee? Ah, shoot, I forgot to tell you. Always haggle with Pablo. He expects it. It's a part of the game. Ah, darn. Well, that's all right. Next time you're in that kind of situation, just think. What would Arvio do? Arvio should pay a designer their full. Thank you anyways. I'll pay you back as soon as I can. 
The shop owner and the workshop owner. What are you two doing here? Not thinking of traveling somewhere, are you? With so much work to be done? What do you want, Miguel? Pasta, hello! We were just admiring this fine billboard that our friend here made. An advertisement? Let me see. Ooh. Not to code. Yes, very nice. But you are aware that there is an application process for new constructions, are you not? No one is above the law, RVO. New constructions? It's a poster. In case you forgot, any construction on public property must first go through the Commerce Guild with an application fee. Following which, the request will be sent to City Hall, where Haiti and myself... Right, right. Application. And the fee. About that. You would do well not to interrupt me, boy. As I was saying, Heidi works with me, keeping track of zoning for new constructions. But as it turns out, to my knowledge, there is no zoning conflict here. Ooh. Woo! <laughs> you know, Hulcha, the way you were talking, you made it sound like... However. Huh? There is still the matter of the application fee that you so absent-mindedly circumvented. 500 goals. Otherwise, I'm afraid the city will have to take down this very modest creation of yours. Yes, yes, of course. I would never dream of trying to wriggle out of paying for such a valid and clearly very necessary service. Let me just speak with my partner privately for a moment. Uh, as you may recall, I'm still a bit short. Also, I don't have 500 goals on me. But don't worry, I have a plan. Let's convince Miguel to keep the sign up and just give me a few days to come up with the money. No, okay. Nice! Oh. Mm, what's there to discuss? Pasta! The thing is, for a little shop, can we leave the sign up and I can pay the fee after a couple of days? I mean, and I mean, who knows? Maybe some tourists will see the sign and decide to hop off the train. This sign could pay for itself in a matter of days. I can be RVO's guarantor. I must admit, to see you young people so united, it does fill one with hope. Fine. I suppose these laws were originally written with the intention to improve commerce in Sandrock, not hinder it. You have three days. I will inform City Hall. Wonderful. Thank you, Pasta. You're so forgiving, just like your religion tells you to be. I do so <laughs> admire those who practice what they preach. Aww. Hmm. Yes, quite. Although he got a little sassy earlier. <laughs> that went well, I'd say. Thank you for your support. Within a few days, I'll have that silly fee paid for. Oh, and I'll pay you back as well. Okay. Whew. Finally, I love it when a plan comes together. Some of what I said is true, by the way. I do think this billboard will pay for itself in no time flat. All right. I'm going to speak with Jensen about when there's the most traffic so I can repair for the crowds. Thanks again. All right. He's certainly happy. Oh, you have something you want. How's oh, his birthday. I got his birthday. Take her easy. All right, I guess that's where I'm going to end this episode. Uh, when we come back, we're going to finish up this and do some sand fishing for Owen. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.